Robert, what is it like at the moment preparing for the NFL draft in the midst of a, a global pandemic? I'm sure that's not something you expected a few weeks ago. Yeah, um, it's crazy, man. Uh, it's like everything's so different. You know, the world's in a crazy spot right now, so it sucks. But, uh, you know, you got to try to find a way around it and get better, you know, try to get better anyway. How is it, is it impacting you at all? Is it impacting the way that you can work out and, and do things, the usual kind of things that I guess a football player would do at this time of year? Um, Yeah, man, just like they shut down all the gyms and then they um – they shut down all the gyms, and like, like you go to a park, and they come kick out the park, you know. So everything's like pretty much on lockdown, man. So it affects you, but like, I try to go early so I can get it in, and you know, and then get out. So, is is there any part of you that thinks, oh, you know, it, it had to be this year, didn't it? I mean, it, you will have dreamed about this moment, you know, preparing for the draft and and then being drafted by an NFL team, and and, and I guess this. Obviously, it's in context of what a lot of people are going through right now, but it, it kind of must take the edge off it a little bit. Yeah. I mean, just, like I said earlier, it, it, it sucks just because, like you just said, like it's our, like this year, you know, like when, when it, whenever this class gets ready to come out, you know, for us, it, for this class is coming out, it just sucks because, it's like you said, it's what we've been dreaming of, man. It's what we've been wanting to do for a long time. You know, we're so excited for it. But, like, now we can't go to, like, the draft or – you, you probably can't even have like a certain amount of people in your house when you get the call. Like, so everything just kind of suck right now. But everything will be, it'll, it'll be fine. Now, the big thing at the moment is that teams are reportedly doing these these FaceTime meetings uh, instead of actual having the visits at, at the facilities. Is that something you've you've done that yet? Have you had any any FaceTime calls with any teams? Yeah, um, I've actually had a couple, man. Um, you know, so. It's different. You, you, like you gotta, you gotta make sure you take notes and um, you know, be like pay attention to everything that's going on because, it's, like I said, it's different. It's not the same as um as it would have been if they would have come to like my university and worked me out or met with me like that. See, like it's totally different because it's on Facetime, so it, it, it affects you, I guess. But you know, they're not too bad. I guess if you were, went to a facility, you would meet a lot of different people. You'd probably get a tour. Um, they might do a lot of different things. Are you speaking to lots of different people in those FaceTime chats? Is it is it about an hour? You know, what what just sort of talk us through what happens in one of those? It it, it can last up to an hour. They'll call you. You know, they'll talk to you. Um, pretty much to talk about the stuff you already talked about. That's you, that's you, who you are, trying to get to know you as a person and a player. You know, then they um they try to pretty much teach you film and stuff like that. And it, it just goes from there. So it, it can last up to an hour, but nothing, nothing's been longer than an hour. I'm intrigued to know, did you have a, a formal meeting with the Seahawks at the Combine? Yes, I did. I, I've just got a feeling yeah. that they'll love your style of play, you know. And, and would you fancy that, you know, blocking for Russell Wilson one day? Oh, yeah, man, I, that would be great. I mean, as Russell Wilson, I, I would love to compete and play with Russell Wilson. Um, he's a winner. He's a champion, so I, I definitely would, uh, wouldn't mind competing and playing with him. You know, they love to run the football. They they like big, physical, offensive linemen. I get the sense that that that's kind of your style. That you like that kind of that kind of brand of football. Yes, sir. Uh, that's that that is that's definitely my style, man. I mean, it's fun. It's fun to be the bully, you know. Um, and it's legal, so that, that that's that's a that's a that's a good thing, man. Where you can bully somebody and you know just have fun doing it. Now, are you 100% healthy now? Are you recovered from the sports hernia? Yes, sir, I am. I'm, I'm 100% healthy. How, how much of a challenge was that? And, you know, you've, you've gone to the combine, but having to watch a lot of, a lot of guys do other things and, and mm. not been able to do probably everything that you wanted to do there. Mm. So, I mean, for... For me, it was tough because I wanted to, um, you know, I wanted to be there. I wanted to compete. I was there, you know. It sucked because I also wanted to compete in the senior ball, stuff like that. But, you know, just like I, like, I always say God has a plan, you know, and I'm just going to follow that plan. Everything will work out the way that it needs to. But it sucks just because, like, I think I would have did well and, um, you know, would have been able to compete. But I guess it just wasn't my time at the time. So now I'm getting healthy. Well, now I am healthy, you know. I'm uh, um try to put out something soon, you know, and let the team see that. Yeah, what are you gonna do with that? Are you, are you gonna film yourself doing like a workout? Is is the uh, yeah? That's that's my goal right now. My my goal right now is to um film film a little pro day and not even like a real pro, day, just like me moving around, trying to you know show them that I'm healthy. So that's pretty much my goal right now to try to film that. I'll get that done soon, and then we're gonna send it out to uh, everyone and, and see you know 
that's how how it's like helped me out, I guess. Have you got a, a kind of an idea of of how you would test? I mean, I'm, I'm guessing you've done a lot of these these things, like a you know the bench press, for example, broad mm-hmm. jumps, vertical jumps. I mean, did, did you have any idea of what you were expecting to do if you had been able to to compete at the combine? Uh, if I was able to compete at the combine, I think I would have did. I think I would have. This is me guessing. I don't know because I didn't do it, but um, I think I would have at least done 25 plus reps on a bench. Um, I think I would have got like a 30 something inch vertical. Wouldn't, wouldn't, wouldn't be nothing crazy probably, but like a 30 something inch vertical. Bra would have been like in the middle of the pack, you know, nothing like that, something like that. I would have ran, I think, honestly, I think I would have ran, if I was able to compete healthy, I think I would have ran like a four nine, five flat. That would have been my, um, that's what I think I would have been. And everything else, I think, you know, like the drills and stuff like that, I definitely would have done well in those. So that would have been a, that would have been a really good combine then. Yeah, I think I think I would have done well. Now, one of the things that teams generally look for are players who've experienced football adversity, and I suppose what that means is players who've succeeded without the luxury of being a five-star prospect at high school and the benefits that come with that. Can you tell me a bit mm-hmm. about your path to Louisiana from high school in Texas onwards? Yeah. Um. So I came from a uh, I came from a small one A school in Texas, Southeast Texas, um, called Burkeville High School. Uh, I graduated with twenty three kids in my class. On Friday nights, we played with thirteen kids. Sometimes, sometimes we played with eleven kids. Um, the most I ever think, uh, most we ever had on our team, I think, was probably like twenty four. So um, it was a small one A school. Uh, I never really had O line coaching. Uh, I had good coaches, you know, but um, I had different coaches. For my freshman, sophomore, freshman, sophomore, and junior year, so I had three different head coaches in my high school career. Um, you know, I played, I played up other sports, but uh, like I said, it was a small school, small school, and everything went well. I mean, I found a way. I end up get, um, end up getting a scholarship to lose down Lafayette, and I made the best of it. So that's what matters. If you had, so you say that get eleven or thirteen players, you must have played multiple positions then, presumably. Yeah, uh, yeah. I played. Um, I played. Oh, I mean, I played both sides of the ball. I played um, my freshman freshman year, freshman year, sophomore year, and the beginning of my junior year. I was actually playing like tight end and defense end, and then I moved to right tackle, the back end of my junior year, and then I stayed there the next two years. But I still played defense as well. Now, what can you tell us about your partner on the right side of the Louisiana line, Kevin Dotson? Uh, Kevin Dawson is a uh, absolute animal, a beast. He's a man amongst men. So, so what makes him such a? I mean, I've, I've, obviously anybody can go on YouTube and, and watch the games, and, and we can see a, a, a whole host of ed- evidence of, of you and he uh, doing some beasting on that right side of the line. But yeah, you know, what, what is it about the two of you that that worked that clicked? You know, beyond just the, the talent and the physicality, do you think? Um, me and, me and Dot, we've been roommates since, like, we stepped foot on campus, so, like, we've been roommates, and I think that we just talked about it, you know, we had a plan, we always, um, you know, communicated, we never even had a real, like, a real argument or anything like that, like, so we've always been, like, with each other, have each other's back, you know, so, that, that, that just, that relationship between us is just really good, so we take it to the football field, and we know exactly how to, you know, play together. We started off playing together when we got there as freshmen. Then, you know, I went to left, and then I moved back to right, so. Now, feel free to be bold here with this last one. What are teams going to get from Robert Hunt, and, and what are you going to achieve in your NFL career? Teams are going to get from Robert Hunt a guy that is going to lock down any position, um, any any position from left tackle to right tackle besides center um, for the next, I'll say, eight to ten years. And I think I'll do it very well. Um, I can say that right now in my young career, I think I will be a pro bowler. I think I'll put the work in. I think I'll be, um, I think I'll have a really good, um, NFL career, career. Well, Robert, it's been a pleasure speaking to you, man. And, uh, the best of luck with everything. I hope to see you in Seattle. I don't know if you like cold weather or not, but, you know, as a Seahawks fan, I hope to, I hope to, see, you, I hope to see you in CenturyLink in the future. Oh, man, thank you.